swing. Um, okay, so we just need to concentrate particularly. I'd like you to really work hard at bars seven, eight and nine a little bit more, okay? Still need to let go in the left hand. Right, you still, can you see I'm holding it, which is what you're tending to do. Just be aware of that and try to not do that. Try to let go like that. And then you need to lift and move both hands to go into bar nine and then stop, right? So I'll just pick it up from bar seven. Shh. Lift and move and straight in with the next section. Okay, so you will need to practice that quite a few times to get that because it's not an easy move from here to there, keeping it in the beat or on the beat. Shh. Lift and move both together and then you carry on. All right, so you can then play on a little bit. Now, in bar 12, I would stop and just do the left hand for the next four bars. It's middle C, remember we're in the treble clef for our left hand. So it's middle C, then it comes up one note to D, then up one note again to E, and it stays on the same one twice, okay? The right hand finishes with two Gs, so two thumb notes and the G is tied, okay? Two, three, one, two, G, G, that's high G, okay? So then you could try putting it hands together, but do have a little go at it, one hand at a time for, them, for a while. Then together, watch the left hand moving up, but the right hand stays on the same note. Shh, do that little rest in the left hand again, the same as in bar seven. So there's a rest there where the right hand is holding. All right, you must make sure that there is a shh, a rest there as well as that one.